Hello guys, welcome back to the stream. Hello everybody, hope you all are well. I won't be able to join you today because I had to wake up early today. Anyway, have a that's okay, perfect. Thank you for saying hello anyways. And yeah, it's good to see you all again. We're back playing some Timberborn. God, when was the last time I played Timberborn? Um, when was the last time I streamed? I think last time I streamed was mid-December? I think it was mid-December. So this is the first stream of... 2023 and we're actually gonna start a new game i know i have another game where i played as folk tales but we're gonna play as iron teeth instead i've played a little bit as them not too much and they are a bit different so i'm just gonna hit the next button and i'm gonna pick them pick a map let's take a big map i like them big <laughs> Lakes, maybe? Let's try lakes. I don't think I've played at lakes. Or maybe I have, a, I don't know. I have no idea. Ah, oh, thank you for the prime. 2023. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, Ace. All right, I'm gonna just start a new game. I'm probably very rusty, but that's okay. Oh, those are cute. Is that a snail? <laughs> Hi, chat. Uh, what would you like to name your settlement? I actually have picked out a name for the settlement. I'm gonna call them Full Metal <laughs> Beavers. <laughs> there you go. So since uh, the last time we streamed this, there's actually been a couple of updates. So they've changed some things and there's some new mechanics. So I know that yeah, the grindstone, I think, is something relatively new. And they also completely changed how they do storage as well. I need to just figure out what I'm doing first. Hang on. Let's just get started. Take this one step at a time. Oh, but it's nice to just relax. It is, yes. Oh, oh that's cute. It's like a dancing snail. That's adorable. All right. Um, what do beavers need? Probably food, food, water, and wood. <laughs> food, water, and wood. The stairs over there. That might be handy. Oh, I want to make a gigantic beaver town. It sounds very ambitious. Yeah, um, the way the iron teeth breed is kind of different. They use something called a breeding pod, which I guess I should probably make at least a couple of. Maybe I shouldn't put it there. Hang on, don't put it there. Yeah, they use a breeding pod instead, so I guess you can really control the population quite a lot. I should cut these. Hang on, I'm just trying to remember, like, what's my priorities here? Ugh. Usually it's a bit slow starting. At least we start with berries. Uh, this one. Sure. <laughs> I'm just like remembering what the hell am I doing? Yes. How are you, chat? I hope you've been. Well, how is Christmas? Christmas and New Year's. I'm interested in knowing. I need water pumps, don't I? Yeah. Wish this was just straight, but I'm just picky like that. Um, maybe up here? I'll do. All right, let's just play it and they can start doing things. Oh, also, they look different, the beavers. They have like gray fur. I think it's adorable. 
Hello, I've been watching your Elden Ring playthrough over the holidays. I love how into it you are. That is so amazing. Oh, thank you, 2023. Yes, that was a lot of fun. It's a shame that uh, it's over for now. But my god, what a long ride that was. Is this Anno Beaver Edition? Uh, I don't think I've played Anno, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say yes. <laughs> um, oh, duh, I need to... I'm silly. I have to make this one so they cut the... the wood. <laughs> Anno Edition. Uh, why? Oh no, I'm an idiot. It's this one. Yeah, so they've changed the storage. So you can have like a teeny tiny one, or you can have one that's a bit bigger, and then you have to like buy the upgrades. How much is this? 12. I mean, then you just start with something little, I suppose. Let's just do that and I can replace it later. Yeah, and you have to like select what you want to store in there. Which I think is very interesting. Um, berries. And they probably need shelter too. Uh, hmm. I'll just put it there for now. Oh, and they also, something I'm really, really happy about, um, they finally made it so that when you delete a structure, you get some of your resources back. Before, you couldn't do that. If you deleted something, those resources were gone forever, but they actually give stuff back now, which makes me so, so happy. It's the master of the games. Hello. Oh, thank you for the subscribe. Welcome back to streaming, Dandy, and happy first one in 2023. Thank you. Oh, you're, you're swell. It is pretty good to be back, and it's just nice to just chill out and play a beaver game. <laughs> you know. Uh, food. I better not forget about food. Maybe let's just start it with carrots. Something like that. I don't mind keeping these as berries. Berries are actually pretty important <laughs> for this faction because I think these ones, the breeding pods, need berries and water. Yeah, five water, five berries. I might... I'm just trying to decide where I want to put this. Maybe just put it up here. I just want it out of the way of where I'm gonna build. Just start with that and see how we go. Yeah. I'll mostly be chilling for a bit, need to shower and eat, but I'll be around. That's okay. You deserve to relax. It's all good. Also, by the way, they are very much still uh, building a house <laughs> next door, so I still have to record on Saturday, which it is today, which is okay. But my god, I haven't been sleeping well because of all the construction and all the noise. I, I, yeah, it sucks. I'm actually just gonna prioritize that one. Because we really need like, water, like, now! <laughs> oh, I can sneak this one in. Jurati with the subscribe! Hey, LMAO! Hello, <laughs> Jurati. Oh, good morning. I'm guessing you just woke up. How is your salmon? <laughs> what else do I want? I want to make a hauling post as well. Let's just make sure we get the necessities first, otherwise I'll... This will be a very short game otherwise. Maybe let's get another woodcutter. Ah, we need sides. Adore. Adore, son. Mm, I'm not gonna worry too much about building vertically just yet, because I'm gonna need a lot of resources first. So I'm just gonna put this one here. But I'll prioritize these ones. Yeah, because we, we need food. Salmon turned out great, actually, yeah, even though it was slightly improvised. That's good. Hell yeah. I'm just gonna take a look at the map. 
I don't think I've played this map before. Well, there's a lot of water. Ah. So that can be dismantled. So the water flows through here? That's close by. Oh, interesting. Huh. This is not a bad map. The water can just go everywhere. Eventually. I like it. You must be be very careful about that or else a short game, yeah. <laughs> I like the pun. <laughs> Into the top of the salmon with some whole grain mustard and seasonings, then chucked it in the air fryer for six minutes. Ah, how fancy. Mustard gave it a bit of a crusty crunchy crust. Ah, that's cool. I like using whole grain mustard seeds too. There we go, we've got a water pump. Good. Thank god. They have water. Uh, they're okay. The water is coming in now. Door. <laughs> they're not dehydrated. I promise. That's cool. I'm trying to remember what I've been using those the whole grain mustard with. I know I used to make. Um, it was like a Japanese potato salad back when I used to work at a Japanese place. That was awesome. Maybe I should give you the recipe for that too. <laughs> Uh. Oh, that's okay. Oh, they're also upset because they don't have any shelter. It, it, it'll be built. Everything just requires a lot of wood, obviously. There we go. I got some farmers. Okay, they'll be okay. I might just leave it at two. And I'm just gonna think about what I want to do with the layout. Yes, please? Okay, I'll have to write that one down. Because <laughs> I don't have it like saved anywhere, so I'll, I'll write it out. That one's pretty easy to actually. Yeah, it's a- um, Timberborn's always a bit of a slow start, so we'll just wait a second. I don't want to, like, give them too many things to do, then they get overwhelmed, and then we have problems. Topic of beavers, how's this for a headline? I'm waiting in anticipation. Ukraine credits local beavers for unwittingly bolstering its defenses. <laughs> the dams make the ground marshy and impassable. Oh. MVP beavers, then. Go beavers. How about that? That's interesting. Good job, beavers, yeah. <laughs> Hmm, that's not a headline you hear every day. Also, it's getting pretty hot already. I'm- <laughs> even though I'm streaming in the morning, it's starting to get pretty hot. I think it's gonna be like- hang on, I wanna see what the weather's gonna be today. I think it's gonna be 30 today. Come on, phone. 32. Ouch. Code Shanks, that's an interesting name. I finally saw you live, loved your Black Mesa gameplay, best vids on YouTube. Oh, thank you. That's such a great thing to say. Oh, thank you. I was actually just listening to um, the Black Mesa soundtrack this morning. I like having it on when I get ready. <laughs> um, what was I listening to? It was the soundtrack when you're in Zen. It's pretty dope. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you, Code Shanks. Ah, uh, this is why I like streaming because I get to talk to people. <laughs> That's a really nice thing to say. Thank you. All right. Um, uh, I should concentrate. All right. 
Yeah, so this is how Iron Teeth breed, as they use a breeding pod. Yeah, so it's unique to them. And they need water and berries, so... Oh, I forget how long it takes for them to develop. I think it was either three or five days, I'm not sure. Yeah. Alright. Almost every- oh, I forgot you have to do that. Alright, so that's the last thing to be built. There we go. Yeah, so barracks? How many beavers do barracks hold? Ten, that's heaps. Wow. <sighs> Alright, so I'm thinking we should just make this whole area up here like a big forestry. Oh, oh, my beavers are happy. That's that's good. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of weird just, like, seeing them in there. That's weird. Alright, uh, let's think. I think we better just get more food and water. I'm just trying to think of a good place for storage. Hope you had some good holidays, not too stressful. It wasn't too bad. Actually, I mostly just relaxed. Hang on, I get kind of picky when I when I build, just so you know. So if I take a little while thinking about something, you know why. I just do it like that because I can like squeeze in there. That's all. Yeah, I'm just trying to think what I even did. Not much. Not much at all. Mostly relaxed, but yeah, I was having uh, some trouble with my right arm. I think I mentioned that in a previous announcement when I had to take a break over Christmas. Um, that is doing a lot better now, luckily. What else am I doing? I see- I still see the physio. That's not exactly fun and relaxing, though. Um... Mostly just some house stuff. Oh, we got... What do you call it? Our wedding album? That was sorted. Which is cool. And we decided to pick out some wedding pictures to print out. That was fun, yay. But yeah, I guess I'm kind of boring. <laughs> I, didn't, I haven't really done much at all. Mostly just rest and exercise. All right, now that oh, we need more sides. We need way more sides than this. I'm sure you guys did more interesting things. That's good too, but yeah, I heard that, but you found out what it was. Because you talked about that you didn't really know, right? Yeah. Um, I guess my physio was like poking around trying to figure out what was going on with my arm. Um, because it basically got to the point where I basically couldn't use my right arm at all. Like I couldn't even like lift anything with it. It was just, yeah. I just couldn't use it at all and it was just like hurting like crazy. And, yeah, I guess he poked around kind of in my collarbone and he's like, whoa, that's really bad. <laughs> like, like, that's super inflamed. And he's basically explaining that, oh, you have like a lot of nerves and a lot of blood vessels that like run through like your collarbone, right? 
and those are all getting compressed and that was causing your arm pain and I'm like oh okay and so he gave me some exercises and stretches to do to like relieve it and that helped a lot luckily so yeah <laughs> so now I'm just like a bit more conscious I guess about my shoulders yeah He's good, that guy. <laughs> I'm glad he helped me. But yeah, that really sucked. Because obviously I'm right-handed and just not being able to use your arm at all really sucks. That's good. Everyone has a job, but not everyone has a home. Okay, I better fix that. Oh, can I actually squeeze that in like that? Oh, that's brilliant. I'm glad you're doing better at least. Thank you, Ace. <laughs> yeah, it's much better. Like, it's it's way, way better than it was. But um, I think it's also for the best that I take a little break from playing all the hard games. Because I think, yeah, I was just maybe overdoing it. A bit, because I was just playing too many hard things at once, like Elden Ring and Dead Cells. And yeah. It was just too much of a strain for me, but... I'm okay. I promise I'm okay. Relieving that you got an answer? Yeah. Luckily it was... Yeah, I got my answer quick and the solution, like, it resolved itself pretty fast. And that doesn't always happen. Sometimes it takes like months for me to like fully recover from something, so I got lucky that time. I'm trying to decide do I want more breeding pots? Because <laughs> I don't want to like make too many and overdo it, but you can pause them. Hmm. Might just also preemptively get another water pump. And you know what? I just I just want to make sure that we're not gonna die when the drought comes, so just keep making lots of storage. Speaking of storage, I have no storage for my carrots. Uh maybe a medium warehouse somewhere. In here? Oh, I just realized how high up this whole area is. I'll deal with it when the top comes. Just put it... Put it a bit closer. Sure. Also, I better make this one, because their, their teeth do sometimes get damaged. So, just put it like... Chuck it in there for now. Because if, if their teeth gets broken, which that's funny, um, they need to use the grinder to fix it, and I don't think they can work. So you have to like t look after the teeth, the dental work. Gaming too hard? Yeah, I was. What, what a <laughs> silly problem. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Hey, maybe you should set up at remember to stretch button we can use with our channel. Yeah, I've seen someone do that. They just every now and then it's like, oh! Timer's got off time to stretch. Stretch for like 20 seconds and come back. It's like, oh, that's not a bad idea. Stand up, get some water or something like that. Yeah, that's what I usually do. Like, um, in between, like, recording my videos, I always, like, stand up. Um, and just, just do something. Even if it's just for a minute, just do something else and then I'll come back. Yeah. Having for the best so you can enjoy God of War in peace? Yeah. Oh, God of War. It doesn't hurt my arm or anything like that, luckily. Oh, I should get this one. Forester. Uh, let's see. I might need to make two of these. Hmm. Maybe something like that, and I'll put stairs down. Yeah. Like that. So that way they can plant more berries. Plant the trees up there and I'll make another forester on the left. Let's try that. I'm sure I put the stairs. Oh, maybe there? 
I need to, oh my god, I need to unlock the stairs. I'm getting ahead of myself. I always do this. <laughs> yeah, while they've cut all the trees, I should do this. Yeah, that kind of goes like that, so that way I can go around. That'll work. 75% fail rate when lumbering? I want to spend my channel points to make you dab. <laughs> what else can you use channel points? Well, I don't, I don't really know how to use any of that. Just trying to remember what... I think when we played Cult of the Land, that used channel points for like the totem, didn't it? Is it just building up now and it's like, doesn't really have a use? Glad to hear that you take breaks, that's important. Yes. One thing I also really want to get is a standing desk as well, just so I can change my position every now and then. That would be really nice. But they're expensive, so I'm just like saving up for it. I might need to build a path in here. Probably will do that. Um, I go like that, maybe. Smart idea. You can set it up to play sound effects. Oh, okay. You have a standing act desk at work. Yeah, I remember you telling me that. I was like, oh man, I'm so jealous. <laughs> that would be really nice to have. I'm just gonna. Uh, no, I can't. I need the stairs. Give that to me. Oh no, I shouldn't have got that because it needs planks. Duh. Duh, I say. I need to save up the science points for these ones. Oh, I'll oh, let you start with these. Never mind, ignore me. Oh, that does need planks. I have a... I have a dubby, I'll say it. That needs planks. Uh... No, I can just... Hang on, I'm just remembering how to play. This one. I guess I can change the layout later if I need to. Just do that. I use it a lot less towards the end of the day, though. That's fair, though. <laughs> I mean, I used to work in a kitchen, like, full-time, and you're standing up the whole time at that kind of job, and so I totally understand just wanting to sit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I was wondering what is your all-time favorite game? Something from your childhood that got you into games? Or maybe a more modern one? Oh, that's always such a hard question. Uh, if we're talking... So you said something from your childhood that got you into games. That game for me, and this is not necessarily my all-time favorite game, but it is a, you know, something I hold close to my heart. Um, is Kingdom Hearts, because for me, Kingdom Hearts was the first game that, how do you say, it basically made me realize, like, the potential of what a video game could be. That sounds kind of dramatic. Um, I think I played it when I was 11 years old, and back then I had maybe played, like, some Nintendo games like... Uh, like Mario Party and Mario Kart and Super Smash Brothers and things like that. And when I played Kingdom Hearts, it was like, oh my god, there's this, there's this really cool story here and these interesting characters and, oh, you can like, 
customize like your spells and like what it's binded to and you could enable and disable all of these different abilities and I didn't realize that a game could be like that. That could be so intricate and that could have an interesting story so it's like oh that was such a huge eye-opener for me like I didn't realize that's what a game could be. And obviously Kingdom Hearts has the Final Fantasy characters in it and then that introduced me to the Final Fantasy series and I think the first Final Fantasy game I played was Final Fantasy X and that was huge that was a big deal for me too so that's also like one of my favorite games is Final Fantasy X yeah oh there you go Gerardi Final Fantasy X did that for me completely mind-altering experience yes me too and then it's like oh I played that I played X2 and then I played Final Fantasy VII and it just kept going from there so yeah Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy X were a big deal for me when I was younger. <laughs> the Spyro and Jack and Daxter series were my childhood bangers at school. I haven't played them. I do remember seeing like Spyro coming out at the time and really wanting to play it but I'm not sure why we never got it. I should actually pay attention. Hang on. <laughs> I'm just like wait I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing here. That's okay. I'm actually just going to make one of these. I could like talk about my favorite games like all day long. There was another one that just came to mind. What was it? Um, it was another childhood one. Ah! Um, another one that was a really big deal for me was Resident Evil 4. So that was my first horror game. And even though I had played shooters before, that one was different you know um the controls for resident evil when you're playing it on a controller as most of you know it can be really awkward to learn at first if you've never played it and that one had a bit of a learning curve for me and i think i played that i played it when it came out so that was was that 2005 i think was was it 2005 resident evil 4 came out um i think that was yeah, so I would have been young. <laughs> I would have been pretty young. I think I was like 13? 13, 14? Something like that when I first played it and uh, that was like very scary. That was super scary, um, especially for my first like horror game. And <laughs> Uh, for me, it was like super memorable, but it's also one of like my favorite horror games to play. Uh, and I don't think I finished that game until I was like 16 or maybe 17 years old, just because it was a bit too hard for me to learn. Even, and I even played it on easy. I played it on easy too. <laughs> so ripped that Kingdom Hearts 3 just completely fucked off the Final Fantasy characters. That's why I haven't played it. Like I've. I've thought about playing Kingdom Hearts 3, but as soon as someone told me that, oh, they got rid of the Final Fantasy characters, I'm like, oh, why? It's like the best part <laughs> of the series. Especially like the secret, like Sephiroth uh, boss fight. That's like iconic, so I don't know why you'd get rid of something like that. It seems really dumb. I've still never finished an RE game. I thought you played the first game. Or oh, was that just not your jam? Oh, we might have a log shortage here. Oh no. Um, oh, but this is all done anyways. I might have to pause some things. Uh, let's see. Oh, am I totally out of logs? No, there's some here. Ah, oh, they can't reach, that's why. And I just need to rearrange some of this. Maybe put that in there. I just need some planks. I could delete something to get the extra resources, but once I get, yeah, just seven planks, it'll be okay. What's that one? You didn't die once in Kingdom Hearts 3? <laughs> That's a good brag. <laughs> that means it wasn't hard enough. I think I didn't die once, oh, what was that game? That was a horror game too. 
It's like subtle, subtle brag, humble brag. I think it was so much. I didn't die once. Yeah, that was horrifying. <laughs> I think you tried to play the original RE like 8 or 9 or whatever and I was like, okay, maybe this game is not for me. It's awkward. Uh, <laughs> the original Resident Evil game. Um, I played the remastered one on uh, YouTube. I did play it. And yeah, the controls are super awkward. You, It's like, uh, it doesn't feel very nice, I'll be honest. I'm just gonna pause that. No one here. Yeah, I kind of need this to be built. So get the wood, get the wood. <laughs> but yeah, it grows on you, though. You just kind of have to like get used to it. <laughs> it's stall. Hello, stall. I think I got towards the end, but then I stopped for a while and forgot what I was up to when I got back. I hate it when that happens. I'm certainly guilty of that. Not even bragging about it, just shocking how different the difficulties between the first two games, two and three. Yeah, I thought the first game was probably the hardest. And then the second game, it was just so easy to level up and then you can do like your double keyblade uh, mode. So I think that made it really easy. Three was made for babies? Oh, maybe they made it a little too Disney. You know what I mean? You guys waiting for the Dead Space remake? Yeah. I'm looking forward to, De to Dead Space. That's also one of my favorite horror games. Dead Space and Soma are so freaking good. Are you making plaques, my guy? I'm gonna have to delete something just so I can get the wood. Just wait though, they're chopping something. There we go. Oh, something one to one. I think I might just be slightly sure. I'll delete something if I have to. Three more? Two more? I think it might be at actually. <laughs> I think I have to delete something. <laughs> it wasn't the controls for me, it's just the fact that there was- <laughs> that it was scary as shit for my little baby self who had never experienced a horror game. <laughs> that was me with Resident Evil 4. I remember uh, my brother had to help me with the first um, boss fight in Resident Evil 4. This is the one in the lake. I won't spoil what it is, just in case. Um, oh, that reminds me of something naughty my brother did. Um, for those of you who are familiar with Resident Evil 4, you know what my brother told me? <laughs> when I got up to that lake part, my brother told me, Oh, you know, you can shoot the fish in the lake, and the fish, they can, like, get your health back. Which is true, when you do get the fish, they do restore your health. But little old me was shooting at the lake, not realizing what was about to happen, and then, oh look, a big monster comes out of the water and maybe murders you. <laughs> That's what he did. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, thanks for scarring me. It's like I was just a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell, I need help with scary things of water now. Yeah. I mean, ever since I played uh, Amnesia, the doctor said, I just freaking hate water monsters. That's just so scarring. But yeah, if you want to fuck with your friends, tell them to shoot the fish in the lake in Resident Evil 4. <laughs> but yeah, it's. Even that was so mean <laughs> what he did. Fucking Al, yes. <laughs> Oh god. That bastard. <laughs> uh, did you f oh you did finish making this, that's good. We just need more workers. Alright, um, just pause this for a moment. I need to get the population back up and I need them to plant. Alright, let's do it. Just go ape shit. Um let's see. Eh, let's go like that. We got lots of berries. That's a bit better. The drought is gonna start in a day and a bit, so... How am I doing? 
I've only got 13 beavers, so it should be, like, more than enough food here. Yeah, we'll be fine. As long as I don't, like, make too big of a population. <laughs> oh man. I still haven't really said, like, what my absolute favorite game is, and maybe I don't have one. I mean, if we're doing it purely by hours, I mean, the most hours I have in any game would be Team Fortress 2. That was a lot of fun. I have lots of hours in Risk of Rain. That's also a lot of fun. There's too many good ones. I don't know, I think I have to do it by category if I want to um, pick my favorite game, because I just can't pick one ultimate one. I don't think I can. It's not possible. Yeah, maybe we should do it by category. If it's going to be horror, it's probably going to be Soma. Either Soma or Dead Space or Resident Evil 4. That's that's still three games. What the hell's wrong with me? It's too hard to pick an absolute favorite. Yeah, there's just so many good ones. Way too many good ones. You know? <sighs> I mean, it's probably easy for me to pick my favorite card game because I haven't played a lot of card games, but I really liked Inscription. That was super cool. This is going to take forever to grow. Um, I might just put like another path kind of like that. Yeah. If the path, um, like if there's no path like out here, for example, and I tell them to like cut the trees, they won't cut the trees unless there's a path. So that's why I need to do this. Just something like that so I don't get fussy. Now, if you guys want, you can pick a game in category, and then I'll pick my favorite game. This should be moved. Yeah, we should move this one here instead. Sport. Oh, it doesn't fit. Fuck. That's all right. I can build something here later. That'll do. You probably go with Final Fantasy X? Yeah, I might too. <laughs> because of the whole nostalgia factor and how it changed my whole understanding of games. That's a good answer. Absolutely. That's okay, then top three from a couple of genres. <laughs> so have you tried some from the Dark Pictures games? If yes, what is your opinion? Uh, an action-adventure character. Alright, Dark Pictures, those... That's that trilogy, isn't it? The one that's a bit... What do you call it? I'm trying to remember what the Dark Pictures ones are. I don't think I've actually played any of them. 2023? Um, this is the recent games that came out where like your choices really matter, isn't it? Oh, the Drought's only three days, that's good. Um, yeah, I don't think I've played a Dark Picture game. I don't think so. No, because I remember there was a trilogy that came out pretty recently. Speaking of which, I do have... Until Dawn, which I really want to play, so I might play that in the future. Action-adventure category. There's too many action-adventure games. Um, I mean, first one that comes to mind was God of War. That one was so good. Fun with our boy. Um, give me a moment. <laughs> I have to think about it now. Action-adventure. I mean, I really, really liked Black Mesa, just because I was just so impressed with the the fan made remake. It was just so good, and the soundtrack was just epic. Ah, oh, there's still water here. Does this stay? No, never mind. <laughs> never mind. It just took an extra day to, to go. I guess it's a bit deeper here. Oh, we could use that to our advantage. Hmm. Okay, never mind. It never mind. I need to shut up. <laughs> it's just pulling there. Music was so good in Black Mesa. Yes, they did an excellent job with Black Mesa. In Jax Three, there was a big tentacle hand that would come up and snatch you if you went to the water and swam out of bounds, so to speak. 
I think that was a sort of my water monster fears, yeah. <laughs> also, On Till Dawn is great. I'd love to see that also. Yes. That one should be interesting. I, mean, I think that one's got like heaps of different endings. It's really cool. Ah, oh, dang. I kind of screwed up the range of this one. That's okay. I'm probably going to end up building mostly here. Oh, if I just moved it up by one, that would have been nice. Just like... <laughs> That's alright. I can always put another forester, like, across the river later. I'll just leave it. Let's just wait for the drought. Not much can really happen during this time. Oh, action adventure. Oh, I really liked Doom. Doom was awesome. Even Doom Eternal was really good. Maybe not so much the Doom Eternal uh, DLC, um, but yes. I loved all the, what do you call it, like the finishing moves. That was really fun. seeing how many science points I have. I might just quickly get that one. And we'll need gears pretty soon. Hmm. Eternal DLC beat my ass. I mean, I think that DLC was made to be really hard on purpose. I th I'm pretty sure. Because I wasn't expecting how hard <laughs> that would be. Not at all. I should get- yeah, I should get this one too. That needs gears, right? Yep. Yeah. Alright, um, I better get the gear workshop at some point. Yeah, that was really hard. The Doom Eternal DLC. Especially... I forgot what that was called. Um... You know, there was that, like, spirit or ghost thing that can, like, inhabit another enemy. That was, like, <laughs> that was really annoying. Yeah, there were some mechanics in there maybe I wasn't too happy with, but I got through it, I guess. And we don't talk about the final boss, okay? <laughs> we don't talk about the final boss here. <laughs> it's Quinn. Hello, Quinn. They've subscribed for 17 months. My god, dude. Hello. Hello. How's it going? I think we're just talking about all our favorite games at the moment, but we're doing it by genre. <laughs> Do it by genre. It was indeed, especially the first half. Yeah. Yeah, the, I think the DLC is in two parts. The first the first DLC was the hardest, yeah. They pulled back on the second half of the first was hard on purpose, yeah. It was. Yeah, there's it could be cool to see you try some of them and what you would do in those situations, but don't stress. Until dawn, same concept, so that could be cool, yeah. I think it would be nice playing that. Looking forward to Until Dawn. I also got um, Detroit Become Human. I think that one's also got a bunch of different endings. Not horror, obviously, but that could be fun. Love to see them go back and redo Dark Lord's fight. Yeah. <laughs> Make it longer, more fun, more dynamic. Yeah, that final boss. Oof. I'll get this one. Ah, uh, one twenty. Uh, the gear workshop needs a bit more power. I also don't really have the wood just yet. Maybe I should just wait. Yeah, I think I'm just kind of lacking in the materials at the moment. It's okay. I'll fix it. I'll make another forester. I just don't have any wood. I have no wood. I have no wood. Beavers with no wood is sad. Detroit. <laughs> Detroit is a fun game to just potato on the couch and play a movie game. Yeah. I think that would be really nice since I need to like, you know, not stress myself out too much. <laughs> A super heavy-handed 
message is a huge mood killer for me. Uh, I don't think I really know much about Detroit Become Human. Obviously there's AI, but you know, your beavers need wood. <laughs> yes, they do. I will fix it in time. I'm just a bit slow. Yeah, I'll... If I move this forester just slightly to the side there, it can build, build, grow the rest of the berries just in this little spot. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. Like that, maybe. Cool. You guys want sunflower seeds? That could be nice. No, oh, that's adorable. <laughs> I got, uh... No, we don't need dandelion. Birch? Let's do that. I might need to build another farm. <laughs> I've heard Detroit should be a pretty good game, good story, so that's cool. The dude can't be subtle at all. <laughs> About the beavers. <laughs> uh, what's happening here? I think I better just make another forester here too. While I remember. Do something like that. Yeah. Let's look at all that space. Oh, that's cute. These are the sunflowers. I should have made them a bit sooner. I think they take a little while to grow. Oh, not really. No, it's only five days. What about... Shot me. Speaking of games oh, with heavy consequences, like choices. Oh, there was another one. I was thinking about playing, but I've already forgotten. Oh... Uh... No, I don't remember, unfortunately. No, I've, I've lost it. <laughs> Ignore me. No, I think I've completely lost it. David Cage, I mean, who's that? Is that someone from a game I'm not familiar with? Walking Dead? Oh, I've played the first two Walking Dead games. The Telltale ones. The first one was awesome. Frickin' loved it. Second one was alright. <laughs> the second one was okay. Had some little frustrating things in it, but I thought it was good still. Uh... Yeah, it... Because we just completely ran out of wood. <laughs> um... It takes a while for the trees to grow back. Yeah, my bad. So we've got a bit of a wood shortage. We're okay, like we're doing fine. But I was just a bit slow with getting the forest. It's all good. Uh, the French man who did Detroit and Heavy Rain and stuff. Oh yes, Heavy Rain. I haven't played that one, but I hear good things. The second one was meh. <laughs> Yeah, like after I finished playing the second Walking Dead, I'm like, maybe I'm not gonna play the next ones. <laughs> Wolf Among Us is Pog. Yes, I would love to play Wolf Among Us. I do have it. I'm trying to think of other choice games here. <laughs> Life is Strange. I've played Life is Strange. That was a very good one. I quite liked it. Manny loves Life is Strange. There's also Before the Storm. He said that one wasn't as good, but was still fine. There's a Life is Strange 2, isn't there, with the brothers? Hmm. It might be nice revisiting those games. Just trying to remember when I actually played them. We really need more beavers. I'm... 
five, yeah. I just have to wait for logs. Sorry, I know this is kind of slow, but I just have to wait for the logs to come in. Go faster. Oopsie doodle. Yeah, my mistake. Heavy rain is funny bad. Is it bad? Oh, okay. I guess I, I don't know much about it. Please do play the Wolf Among Us. Okay. I will play the Wolf Among Us sometime. That would be really fun. You thought before the storm was not as good? Sounds about right. Yeah. I remember like walking out and walking in on him sometimes playing it and I would just like ask how it's going and he's like, mm. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess it had its flaws. I'm not sure what though. But yeah, the first Life is Strange was really, really good. I quite liked it. All right, eventually I'm gonna build two bridges like across here, like that. I'm thinking maybe the forester can't reach the little edge here, but it's okay if we can't. I've given him a lot to do. I needed something else, didn't I? I was talking about how I wanted gears to make something. It was the storage, wasn't it? The water storage, that's the one. Yeah. Hundred percent recommend the wolf among us. That's cool. Bit of a tonal shift, but did you ever play Gears of War? No, I have not, I'm afraid. I've heard that Wolf Among Us 2 should come out this year. Ah, also a good time to see if you like the universe. That's cool. Yeah, I heard that, um, didn't the Telltale, like, company, like, go under? Or something like that? They were out of business. Did, like, another team, like, pick it up, maybe? See how we go with four beaver ticks. <laughs> oh. All right, so we've talked a bit about games with heavy choices. Gears of War 2 is one of my favorite games of all time, to be honest. I'm trying to remember what Gears of War is. Can someone refresh my memory? Oh. There we go. Get that wood. Oh, that does squeeze in there, but it's too high. Huh. I'm... I'm just thinking how I might want to lay this one out. Might have to go like that. I'll move. Oh, these aren't doing anything. I just remove these. What? <laughs> Chainsaw guns? Oh, okay. Big macho man with chainsaw guns. How have I not played this? <laughs> Good work, team. <laughs> oh, you guys just reminded me of another game I haven't thought of about in a very long time. What the hell was that game? That also had a chainsaw in it. Um, I think it's called Lollipop Chainsaw. Does anyone know that one? It's the one, um, it's the cheerleader, the cheerleader that kills like zombies with a ch chainsaw. Lollipop Chainsaw, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I haven't thought about that in a long, long time. <laughs> it's 
so fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> that was ridiculous. And there was like, wasn't there like a secret achievement or secret achievement where like you could look up her skirt or something like that? <laughs> yeah, that was really dumb. <laughs> Hello, Jordy. How's it going? Oh. That makes me cry just thinking about that. I think I maybe like 100% of that game. So obviously I liked it. Oh my god. But yeah, it was like a family of, I guess, zombie killers or something like that. I think she had like two sisters who also killed zombies. It was, yeah, it was, it was crazy. All I remember is that Children of Bodom was in the soundtrack. Yes, yeah, so it was, um, what do you call it? Fire and Flames <laughs> by Dragon Force. <laughs> Uh, you got that one pretty quick. Yeah, I think everyone did. Chirati. And she would like cover herself. <laughs> Let me look up the game real quick. Sure. It's going fine. How about you? I'm really good. I'm just chilling out, playing with peepers. <laughs> Talking about games and what all our favorite different kinds of games are and different genres. So I've been really good. Really, really good, actually. It's good to just chill out and laugh. <laughs> ah, good, we're getting heaps of window. Good, good, good. I might need another, ah, oh, I was gonna say I need another science thing, but I've got this one paused, so it's okay. Yeah, once we get lots and lots of wood, We'll be good. <laughs> well, yeah, right, just lots of wood will be good. Uh, she carried her boyfriend's head on her hip. That's right. That's right. I, for I totally forgot about that. <laughs> I, I don't remember that. <laughs> you were right, though. Oh, my God. Now that I think about it, God of War ripped off Lollipop Chainsaw with the talking head. Yeah, that's the first thing that kind of came to mind. I don't, I don't think that's what they were going for though. Oh, <laughs> we should copy Lollipop Chainsaw. No. I don't think so. Oh, dear. Alright, he here's a good question. What's the funniest game you guys have played? What's a, like a really funny game? I made a funny character today in Elden. He looked well, kind of like Joker. <laughs> funny face, and then I thought about you ending the game. That was an epic story. Thank you for that. That's my pleasure, Johnny. I'm glad you enjoyed it. There's no achievement for looking up Kratos' loincloth, though. Oh, disappointed. No, I don't know. God, no. Oh, what a wild game that was. Okay, so that, this one's working now. I've got the log storage here. We need a hauling post, that's all we need. Yeah, this will help a lot. But I need more wood, so fast forward it. The South Park games are, are fucking great. No man he's played. Is that Stick of Truth? I think he quite liked that one. I haven't played it though. That Rick and Morty game looks pretty stupid slash funny. There was a recent one, wasn't there? I know there's been a couple of Rick and Morty games. I haven't played them though. <laughs> you just want to play some dinosaur games. Arc 2 is not out, sadly. Dinosaur games are fun. High on life, that's the one. Thank you, Trotty. Uh, I'm just trying to remember what game made me laugh the hardest. I mean, the new God of War, uh, God of War Ragnarok has made me laugh out loud a couple of times. That video hasn't come out yet, the one where I kind of lose it. <laughs> so I'm not going to spoil it. Uh... Oh, man. Oh, I haven't played this one, but I hear Stanley Parable is pretty amusing. Obviously, the Portal games are also very amusing. 
Yeah, stick of truth and fractured but whole <laughs> one. <laughs> Watched a bit of a stream, it's just full of that stupid improv humor Rick and Morty is good for. Have you ever played Ark Survivor Evolve? No, I haven't, Johnny. Right not. Tons of different ways to die and laugh. The secret of Monkey Island. Have some okay fun dialogue, okay. Stanley Parable is great too, that's cool, that's cool. Uh oh, how are we doing for food here, guys? Did you guys use up all the berries trying to make children? Oh, what am I doing? I should have just made the bridge here and then they could have gathered all of this. I'm a. How much you call a dummy? I mean, we still don't have that many beavers, but I still need to. Mm. Have I screwed this up by talking too much? That's alright, we'll fix it. Just in case. Ah, oh, these two stairs. There we go, we're getting all the wood in. It's all starting to mature. I remember watching a Stanley Parable playthrough years ago when it first came out. I see seven or eight years at this point. Yeah, it came out ages ago at first, but then... I don't know, do they like finish it or remake it? I'm not sure. Leisure Suit Larry games are full of stupid, dirty jokes. I think I've seen some playthroughs. Well, playthroughs is generous, just some videos of that. And I'll see the funniest game is any game you can play co-op with the buds. I totally agree with that. Um, oh, for me it's probably going to be Battle Block Theater then. That game is hilarious. All the, the Behemoth games are really, really funny. But that one in particular, I played that one with Manny. And it's just so funny. It's not just the dialogue, but you get in each other's way even though you're supposed to work together. And yeah, there's many times where we just would accidentally kill each other and it's, we just like die laughing. So for me, it's probably going to be Battle Block Theater. How life is hilarious. Sabin Max, true oldie. Stanley Parable just got a remake with tons of new content. Ew. Maybe I should check it out. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Hang on. I'm just going to have some water because I'm. It's freaking hot. <sighs> oh, you know what I probably did? I probably didn't make enough farms and they're having trouble gathering everything. Just do that. That's my bad. It's a bit light for that, but next time. Yeah. Hey look, my beavers are happier than ever. I should have been paying more attention, it's okay. Remember my friend kept hitting me with grenades in Battle Block? Fucking annoying, but funny. <laughs> uh, also Stamper's um, dialogue is just... something else. <laughs> that dude's hilarious. You agree to, and yeah, Battle Block Theater. It was both fun dialogue and co-op, yes. World 2 co-op was great, yes. I I think that was the first co-op game I ever played with many. And yeah, we killed each other a few times, I recall. Uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, actual funniest game ever as a middle school. I've never heard of that. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Another game that I hear is actually really good and funny. Oh, it's an older game. Is that Bully Scholarship? I think it's kind of like GTA, but it's in high school. I haven't played it, but I hear really good things and I do own it. I think maybe I've actually killed my beavers because I took too long <laughs> um, getting food. <laughs> I took too long getting food. Um, oopsie. I, um, oops. It's my own fault. I was... Too busy looking at chat now. It's, it's my own fault. I'm not gonna blame anyone else for my mistakes. Oopsie. 
Uh... Yeah, I should have made another farm. That's my fault. Lily is very early 2000s rock star, yes. <laughs> but I hear it's a lot of people's favorite games. Oh, I think maybe I killed the beavers. I feel bad. Let's we'll just see how it goes. Um, I don't have that many beavers anyways. I've got less than 20. I've got 17. So it might be okay, but... Ugh. Yeah, my mistake. Whoopsie doodle. I'm just counting. <laughs> That's the same. Hang on, I'm a bit crazy. Just give me a second. That's six across. Oh, oops. <laughs> Ignore me. I like making things symmetrical, so I'm just wondering how much across I did that, but it doesn't matter because I think maybe I should have just made this all this whole thing food. But I needed the wood early, which is why I put the forest for Jan. That was silly. That's alright. Just do that. Oh, it's getting really hot in this room. I'm not sure how much longer I can put up with the heat. I think I've up it. The music from Bully haunts my dreams to this day. Why is that? I see Zerbo be talking about Bully, one of the most underrated Rockstar games ever. How's the building going? Um, I may have like a food shortage because I wasn't paying attention, but it's okay. <laughs> well, it's not okay, but there is some food here. It will wilt and die though if they don't pick it fast enough. Um, just... Uh, balls. Don't worry about this for now. Yeah, Dandy did an oopsie, as they say. Just pause that for a second. It might be okay. It's only a three- it's only three days, so there should be enough there just, but next time around I just need to make sure I just go ape shit with the food. Yeah. That's alright. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> I'll be- I'll be good. The main canvas theme is like a 30 seconds, 30 second loop that drills into your brain. That reminds me of the the Final Fantasy X uh, battle music. <laughs> that one is also drilled into my brain. You still remember that theme, what a good time? I think he disagrees with you, Quinn. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right, we've talked about funny games. What's another genre of gaming? I mean, there's a lot of them. I mean, we've talked about roguelikes quite a bit. There's too many good roguelikes though. That's normally what I play these days. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll make all this area food as well, because they've almost finished their bridge, which is nice. Oh, excuse me.
Uh. Just getting that ready. I'm just gonna wait and see where the water goes here before I plant my stuff. Hades, Hades! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely loving the current two series, especially Dad of War. What are pretty much all spoilers, except a few things I sort of knew about in a sense. Yes. I. Did I? No, I didn't avoid trailers. I saw one trailer that spoiled something, but it's like, oh, whatever, it's okay. And saw some screenshots, and that was about it. It was about card games, ah yes. System Shock remake coming out this year. Pretty hyped about such an old masterpiece getting some love. I think I added that to my wish list, but I don't I don't really know much about it, I'll be honest. I think I remember we were talking about it before, weren't we? I think you were saying that. It was like Bioshock, or oh, that's where Bioshock got its like influence from. It was something like that, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Alright, drought's over. Ah, we need gears. We should work towards that too. Uh, let's just make sure we absolutely get all the food in. Oh, tats. Wheat. Those unlocked? Ah. Shit, I need that too. <laughs> hmm. Alright, don't plant the wheat yet. We'll just do potatoes for now. And where is the water cup to? That goes pretty far. Yeah? That's good. Look at all that wood. Alright, slow it down. It's the main inspiration for Bioshock and Prey and such. That's right, so we did talk about it before. Have you encountered the aforementioned trailer spoiler in game yet? I think I know what you're talking about, and no, I haven't. I did. Oh no, I can't spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. I did find, let's just say I found an old friend who may have had rabies in the previous game. <laughs> That's all I'll say. <laughs> As the single greatest villain in gaming. Ooh, that's quite a claim. The single greatest villain in video games. That's a good question. You've given me something to think about. What makes them the greatest villain in gaming without spoiling <laughs> too much? <laughs> I think we need to make more planks. Oh, but I... Mm. I just need a few more workers. Like, we've we've got the kids growing. Like, the population's gonna start going up now, but I just have to wait for the, the little ones to be grown up. I think we also need more beds. Hang on. Oh, look at that. It just squeezes in. That's perfect. Wait, does this, like, line up? Oh, it does. But I can't get the doorway. <laughs> no, it doesn't quite work, does it? I just kind of love how satisfying it is that it just, like, squeezes in. Also, one thing I haven't done yet is worked on their well-being. I probably should do that, too. Let's, uh, think. 
Let's squeeze it in here. Yeah, that works. Okay. We keep increasing their well-being, they'll actually work more efficiently. Oh god, hang on, I need to catch up with chat. Oh, I see, I see. We love that guy. Oh, yes. <laughs> I want to anything more. So think Bioshock 2 is your personal favorite? Oh, interesting. I thought... Well, I thought that Bioshock 2 wasn't everyone's favorite. Let me just put it that way. What's your favorite game villain, Dandy? Oh, I'm, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. W-Y-K. <laughs> The premise is you're stuck on a space station and the villain is Shodan, who is the AI controlling the station. Oh, AI as an enemy is always extremely dangerous, right? So essentially the actual level is the villain. Oh, how intriguing. Hmm. I like that. That sounds very interesting. Alright. Well, how close are you guys to doing this? Four planks, four planks. Can we just, um... Oh, I need more beavers. Oh, it should be okay because I made the other farm now, but I just want this done. Leave them alone. Leave the beavers alone, Dandy. They're already working so hard. I know, but I found it way more fun and a bit more refined compared to one personally. Okay, that's alright. She constantly tots you and shit. It's fantastic. That's cool. I'm intrigued. Alright, um... Uh, my favorite video game villain. Oh. That's gonna be a really hard for me, um... What stands out? Uh... I'm having a really hard time thinking of villains, to be honest. The only one I can think of, <laughs> he's got like... Uh... I wouldn't say he's my favorite villain though. Oh no, maybe not that one. What else have I played? Sounds like Portal, yeah, I thought so too. Kinda, yeah. Just spooky and not silly, yeah. I imagine so. It's a bit more of a serious vibe. And probably less cake as well. Yeah, the other villain I was thinking of uh, was um, the one with the annoying voice. Um, it's Seawar from Final Fantasy X. I'm not sure why his voice annoys me, but he's just a prick that just will not leave you alone in Final Fantasy X. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say he's my favorite, he just came to mind. Uh, I don't know, I don't know why this is such a hard question for me. I guess I'm just trying to think like all the games I've played, but there's too many. Fuck Seymour, that son of a bitch. <laughs> Been thinking about it myself too, it kind of stopped you. <laughs> See more in his Chad hair? Yes! It's like the blue... It's like the blue hair that kind of like... points out <laughs> like that. Yes, Gerardi. He sounds like a pompous, aristocratic... C word. <laughs> C more butts. Final Fantasy IV had a good villain, but they kind of ruined him by the end of the game. Oh, that's a shame. You know, obviously Sephiroth comes to mind, but again, I don't think he's necessarily my favorite. I mean, he's iconic, though. That's why it came, comes to mind. He's very iconic. I, I really need these planks, so I'm actually just going to pause these.
saw an interview with the creator of Bioshock where he mentions that some systems like the kind of morality system in NR1 was it really well thought and that they tried to work a bit more in NR2. More of a Final Fantasy VI villain person. That was stuck with you forever. Maybe even Nine has one. You love that game. Yeah, I've well, I've seen nine. No, I, I, I haven't played that one, but I, I know the characters because I've played Final Fantasy Dissidia. That's about all my knowledge of it, though. Did I ever play the Final Fantasy VII remake? No, I haven't. I do own it, though. I have it. Oh, we're, ooh, we need more food. Yeah, I haven't played it yet. I've just seen some weird cutscenes, like when they dress up Cloud, <laughs> when he's like cross-dressing. Y'all. Wesker is a fun villain. Yes, I totally agree with that. I do like him in Resident Evil 5. <laughs> I, mean, I liked him in Resident Evil 5, I'll be honest. Um, I played the absolute shit out of Resident Evil 5. There we go, we're finally getting some workers. Yeah. I love, like, quoting him as well. <laughs> It's a very good remake. I genuinely enjoyed it. That's cool. The Final Fantasy VII remake. That's that's good to hear. I don't think I actually ever finished Final Fantasy VII when I played it. Um, I'm definitely one of those types of people to like try and like 100% a game, but then I just don't finish it. I just kind of forget to. Yeah, I did that with Final Fantasy X, though I have finished Final Fantasy X. <laughs> I think I did the same with Final Fantasy VIII as well, <laughs> now that I think about it. I don't think I got to endgame, but I know I was close to endgame. Oh, I'm sorry, beavers. Hang on. Your food is almost ready. See, if you build over here, you'll get lots and lots of berries, but we don't have planks. Please ignore the starvation. They'll be okay. Kaiser Draws! Hello! Hey Dandy, hope you're doing well. I am! Thank you, Kaiser Draws. I hope you're doing well too. I'm in a pretty good mood. Just relaxing. I hope you are too. I think the Crisis Core remake was nice too. Had a lot of fun with RE5, but for always be top of my heart. Yeah, I saw that they remade Crisis Core. I did play the, the original on PSP. That ending though. My heart. <laughs> Remakes are good for newcomers, but they just don't really speak to me as much. Yeah. I mean, I'm a big fan of remakes. Uh, or remasters. But I guess more remasters. Um, just because sometimes it's really hard to acquire the original game. Sometimes it's just not available, like you need a really old console to play it. So, I actually quite like them. I mean, I what I've played... The original Resident Evil game? If it didn't come out on Steam? Probably not. Would I have played Black Mesa or like Half-Life? Like the original Half-Life game? I don't know if I would have played it. I have no idea. It's hard to say. Alright, the food's coming in. Oh. We're, we're okay. I was sad they made it a hack and slash and not a turn paced RPG. Yeah, that's right. Crisis Core was hack and slash. But they did. Oh, I don't remember what it was called. But they had that roulette thing where you could use like the abilities of like other enemies. Because I remember you could bounce around as a cactuar. <laughs> I remember that. And use the thousand needle thingy. Thingy. Hmm. That was a long time ago. You like Handsome Jack? He's pretty funny crazy. <laughs> that's cool. That was Borderlands 2, I believe was Handsome Jack. I haven't finished Borderlands 2. I actually played that cooperatively with my brother, but then I think what happened is I moved and so we couldn't play together. Oh, it was just really hard finding the time to play together when I moved. Just a shame because we played the first game together. All right, they're okay. There's food coming in. So speaking of food, I'm getting hungry. Oh, Final Fantasy 7 was... Oh, okay. I meant Final Fantasy 7 was hack and slash. Oh, did they do that? Oh, I guess they did. Hmm. I didn't realize. 
Handsome Jack is a bastard, which works well for him. <laughs> as someone who didn't really have consoles as a kid, the remasters to Steam is such a very nice... Yes, I totally, 100% agree. Absolutely. I mean, I've never owned an Xbox console, and I think... I'm pretty sure Mass Effect was originally Xbox exclusive, I think. I'm gonna have to double check that. Imagine if Mass Effect didn't come to Steam. Like, oh, I would have like missed out. That would have sucked. Absolutely love Mass Effect. Ah, oh, you guys are done with this. Hang on, I'll, I'll connect it. There you go. You guys are just a little slow, but it's okay because it's my fault and I'm not gonna blame the beavers. All right, uh, a grill. So I'm gonna make him cook some potets. That'll be nice. Maybe let's go like... Oh, but I also want the... Mm, I don't have the science for it. I want a grist mill as well. As well. <laughs> Maybe it's like that, like side by side. We'll start with potatoes though. I don't want to overwhelm the beavers. I like that. How long do potatoes take? Six. I'll do it anyways. Let's go like that. Bless Steam, yeah. <laughs> okay, man, I think I have my villains now. I guess I'll just say the Queen from Gears. Samuel Hayden, Samer from Doom, that's right. Lady D for all, oh, of course, Lady Devitresk from Resident Evil 8. I'm surely forgetting someone though. I mean, who doesn't like <laughs> the big vampire lady? Excellent choices, I agree, especially with Big Mommy D. <laughs> <laughs> Big Mobby D. Oh, you guys are funny. Maybe Zeus from God of War? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Other daddy. Those fights are so good. <laughs> that almost made me start crying, actually. <laughs> Big Mobby D. Oh, you guys are hilarious. <laughs> oh, hey, I don't need a glass of water. <laughs> she is an excellent villain, though. Aesthetics aside, like her final fight was pretty awesome, and she transforms. Very, very cool. Oh, hilarious. I can't get that out of my head now. Look, I operate on instinct, okay? It was the first thing popped into my mind with Lady D. I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> Probably one of the better transformations. Still hot? <laughs> yeah, still would. That was, that was really wild. Oh, I will also say, um... The whole part with, um, is that Donna with the doll? Is that, is the doll named Angie? I'm trying to remember. That whole part in Resident Evil 8 was done really well. I'll also put that in, like, just, well, maybe not top villains, but just a really well done horror scene area in Resident Evil Village. Oh my god, look at all our wood. I, th I don't think we're getting our potatoes in, but at least the f oh, the farmer's not going that well, still. Even with the extra farmers? Really? Am I an idiot? And we're not doing well with water. Oh my god. Alright. Fix it. Kind of, oh, that goes like that, right?
Donna and Angie, good. The door section was scary as fuck. Did people play that game for the story or just the big titty vampire <laughs> mommy? Probably just the vampire mommy. <laughs> or both. 2D plots all we need. <laughs> big jiggly plot, yes. <laughs> you all need to take a shower. <laughs> a cold shower. <laughs> It's also characters like Nemesis from Resident Evil 3, or they're not really villains, so to speak. I don't know whether to include those or not, you know, the bosses, I guess. I, th I think that's a good one, even though I haven't played the original Resident Evil 3, like everyone seems to love Nemesis. Nemesis is all the rage. <laughs> My population's still so low after all this. Need to make some stairs up here. Yeah. It's already day nine. A drought is probably gonna start at like usually like day 11, 12, 13. Usually they start. Well, you get the warning, anyways. You'll see what I mean. I might pause. We're, we're doing really well for wood. I'm gonna just pause some of these. You're about to go and have a haircut, actually. I'm gonna have my hair cut uh, next week, actually. I'm very tempted to cut off all my hair. Like, make it, like, about... That length. So I probably will. We'll see though. Mark Hamill's Joker in Batman. I did hear good things. Revolver Ocelot. What's that? Good old Ocelot. You're going short too? Yeah, <laughs> I figured you were, Trotty. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? It's an asymmetrical 4v... Oh, Metal Gear Solid, right. Asymmetrical 4v1 game called Dead by Daylight, Nemesis, and Wesker are all in as killers. So Nemesis is definitely super iconic for sure, as far as RE baddies go. Neato. Short hair daddy? Yes. I've been seriously contemplating just cutting off all my hair. Um, main reason is that it's really heavy, and I personally think that it contributes to my neck pain and my shoulder pain so i think it would be better if i just cut it all off and it is quite heavy i have very thick hair um yeah fun fact um i don't think i've actually said this um or announced this or anything like that um not that i really need to i suppose but i actually have osteoarthritis in my neck so yeah, it's not too bad, luckily. It's not too bad, but it might pose a problem in the future, which kind of kind of sucks because I already have psoriatic arthritis, and now I've got another <laughs> arthritis. So it's like, oh, we know you have first arthritis, but how about second arthritis? So I was like, oh, fuck. So yeah, that's why I really just want to cut all my hair off. Um, yeah. Still beautiful regardless. Oh, thank you, Game Master. That's very sweet. Can't wait to see it. Did you do short hair before? I can't remember. Yeah, I think I did. I think I cut it to maybe just above my shoulders, I think, is what I did. Um, I'm thinking of cutting it more towards, like, just under my chin, though. Kind of like that. Kind of like um, Jill from the Resident Evil 3 re remake. Kind of like that. I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll see. I'm still kind of deciding what I'm doing. Damn, I'm sorry. That's so shitty. Oh, it is what it is, Ace. It's okay. Yeah. It's gonna look so cute. Oh. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you have an interview, so I might go short too. Yeah, I saw your picture on 
Discord if you're smoking the cigar. It's like, wow, that's glorious. <laughs> Do the John Wick. <laughs> oh no, hopefully the shorter hair brings you some peace of mind. Yeah, I think it would, um, it just would be so much easier for me to look after. You know, um, I'm just really sick of having all this extra weight on me, weighing me down, and I think it would help a lot if I just got rid of it. Uh, I keep forgetting about <laughs> making other things, hang on. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll talk a bit more, hang on. I'm just gonna do, uh, let's see, do this one. Hang on. I need at least three. Like that. I'm making the gear workshop. Like that. I need to connect the other one, so I have to do this. Uh, if I go like that, it should be okay. There we go. So that's all connected. And I might need another plank one too. So let's just do that. Uh, oh, I could probably just do this. There you go. Oh, perfect. Like that. There we go. Because to make gears, you need planks, so I need extra planks, which is why I'm making another one of these. It's good. Oh, look at all the potatoes. I'm not sure if those will be ready when the trap comes. We'll see, though. We've got way more food, though. Thank God. Beavers don't be giving a damn. <laughs> uh, that was like a really nice haircut. Thank you. Honestly, you could even go as far as a pixie cut and you'll still pull it off. Thank you guys. I've actually done that. I've did that many, many years ago. Like super. Yeah, it was it was a pixie cut. It's exactly what it was. And god, that was so easy to look after. It was very satisfying. <laughs> Gotta trim your hair and your be <laughs> your beaver. <laughs> oh, this is done. Good. We'll, we'll pause this for now because we don't have what we need, but they're gonna make potatoes later. Long hair is super annoying for me too. Plus short haircuts also look cute. Yes, I think they look adorable. I think ultimately, like, comfort wins. Yeah. And to be honest, I was only ever growing out my hair because I was getting married. That's all. I just want to keep my options open with my hair when I got married. Now that I am, I'm like, oh, I just kind of want to get rid of it. Yeah, also, it's like so freaking hot because it's summer now, and the idea of just like cutting off all my hair feels really, really good. Yeah. Alright, how are we doing here? Oh, I forgot to make- oopsie. Storage. Storage. Just for sunflower seeds. Oh, I didn't even put a wood. I didn't put a wood. <laughs> a wood thing down. What do you call it? <laughs> oh, lordy. Ah, uh, wood storage. I might just like put it at the back of this one, kind of like that, so it's not in the way. Even back like that. Yeah. I've been talking so much that I kind of forget to play the game. There we go. Just need to pay attention. It's better. We need storage up here too. I might build it back here just so it's not on the green. But we'll see. That's alright. Okay, that's better. Now that you're married, you can cut your hair off and stop dieting and exercising exactly. <laughs> How did you know? Oh, no. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Is that emote? Titus laughing? Yep. Oh, I never noticed that, actually. I had no idea. I see you use it all the time in Discord. Ah ha ha ha. <laughs> this is a great chat. Yes, it is. It's an awesome chat. It's a feel good chat. <laughs> oh. That's funny. Alrighty. Uh, I 
think we're doing much better. We've got a very good supply of wood now. Yeah, we'll just wait for all this to be built because I really want to make more storage. Get rid of these. Yeah, once we start the uh, gear workshop up, I can make bigger tanks so we can get lots of water. Need to play a Final Fantasy X remaster on Steam? Me too. <laughs> we sure are. <laughs> really need to get that Titus laugh mod to replace the soundtrack in Final Fantasy X. Do it, Gerardi. Are you gonna stream Gerardi now that you've got your own place? Oh, I don't. Mm, these potatoes probably won't be. Uh, they might be ready. Might. Very strong might. How long have I stripped before? Oh shit. Almost two hours. That's okay. Did you get the modern stream? Yeah, I remember you talking about that. <sighs> oh, I did pause those. That's okay. Keep some wood here. Too much wood, even. Maybe I don't have enough tanks? I feel like this is enough, though. Hmm. Maybe one more? <laughs> Long head bros unite. <laughs> You're on the opposite boat where I got hair like Zippo. And I'm just scared to lose it. Guys aren't blessed with women's hair jeans. It's definitely a genetic thing, <laughs> for sure. Can confirm that my long thick hair does run on, in my mom's side of the family. Absolutely. Filipinos, you know. <laughs> also, um, I also, what do you call it? I really hate, um, well, I hate putting pretty much anything in my hair other than shampoo and conditioner. So I don't blow dry it, I don't straighten it or anything. This is my natural hair. I think that helps just make it grow strong and long. Yeah. Fuck hair dryers. <laughs> I really hate them. I'll do it if I have to, like if it's a special occasion, but no, not my thing. Gobby Gopher, oh, that's a cute name. Thank you for subscribing. Still haven't lost any hair yet, fingers crossed, that's good. I've noticed that I am getting like a few more greys in my hair, but you can't really see it. Just a little bit. Alright, you know, I don't think I'm actually getting enough... Um... Children, so I'm gonna make more. What I'll do though... I thought this would be enough, but maybe I'm mistaken. I'll kind of loop it around like that. I can pause them if I overdo it. Let's go like that. I'll make that loop around too, but just let it let him grow. <laughs> oh, I don't think he's gonna be done. That's okay. I think we've got enough. Luckily, we've got way more food than we did last time. Hey, watched your entire Elden Ring playthrough on YouTube. Glad to catch the stream. Thank you. I'm glad to have you here. I'd rather just get a hair transplant than have to rock a skullet like pickles from Metal Metalocalypse. Uh, skullet. The Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Sup, Beaver Party? How a freight train? How's it going? Oh, man. Yeah, I've almost streamed for two hours, but we can keep going. I'd rather just get through the trap. Let's do that. Okay. There it is. Yeah, oh, the potatoes are so close. If you just had one more day, it would have been okay. Yeah. Don lost my top brother? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Metal... Metal... I can't say it. Metalocalypse, whatever. However you say it. I imagine it's pretty good, though. There we go, even got in some berries just before the drought. That's good. Oh, look, some of them were done. Okay, some of them got done. That's good. Very nice. Uh, how long? Oh, this one's a four-day drought, so... A 30... Oh, that should be okay. 
I probably could have used a bit more water, but I will work on that. All right, uh, well, not much happens with the drought. Also, oh yeah, that's right, the water lingers here for a little bit. That's a really good advantage. And it's gone. <laughs> I spoke too soon. What you gonna do when male pattern baldness runs wild on you? <laughs> Every man's worst nightmare, going bald. And woman's. But then my head is shiny. Just do a Jason and Statham, you'll be all right. Again, he's got a very muscular and square head. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so it does dry out if you leave it for too long, but I think we've got heaps of food, so I think we're fine. I just need more beavers. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to overdo it with the breeding. What? Fuck it. <laughs> Do another one. Yeah, so those are all gonna go now. Let's just pause the farms. At least that one. Does someone just die? No. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're okay. We're okay. Oh, dude, Metalocalypse is great. <laughs> if you're familiar with the show Home Movies, they have the same creator, Brendan Small. You'd probably enjoy the music. I probably would, honestly. Um, I don't know where I would even watch it these days. Because back then it would just be like on the comedy channel on Foxtel, right? That's not connected? Really? You sure? Oh. Looks connected to me. Oh, I built it backwards. <laughs> I built it backwards. The path has to go like that. Thank, Thank you for telling me. Alright, now we can get the really big water tanks. Just gonna see how I can lay this one out. That could work. Um, you know what guys, I actually need to go to the bathroom. Um, so I will be right back. I'm just gonna- I'll just let it- Hang on. <laughs> oh my god. I'll be right back, okay? Alright, um, uh, oh, the drought's almost over. You're gonna go cut what little hair I have left on my head now. <laughs> Bye, Gerardi, if you're still there. Alright, I know I've got some unemployed BBC here, but they're just gonna go straight back to farming before the water comes back. He shall return one day. One day. Yeah. Um, yeah, I might stream for maybe like, I don't know, 10 more minutes or just a little more. I just want to take care of some things. That's the problem with this game, though. It's like, oh, I just want to do a little bit more. Oh, I'll do a little bit more and then like three hours pass. At least that's done. That makes me happy. Though it does kind of bother me that that doesn't line up. That's okay. <laughs> oh, here's where all my workers went. I mean, pulling post is great, don't get me wrong. I'm just thinking about how I would lay out some things. Doesn't really matter. They're thirsty. It's okay, the water is coming back. It's okay.
just holding my breath, making sure that they're all okay. Whew. Oh, some people are homeless. See, they're fine. What I might actually do is I might actually just fill out all of this. So I will. Just trying to think how I would lay it out. Because then I could take all the water pumps out here and like build it in this area. And that frees up a lot of space so that I can put more food in. But I don't, also don't want to be too ambitious, otherwise it'll take too long to make everything, you know what I mean? And that's naughty. Do have a bit of a food shortage though. Yeah. Well, if I don't like it, I'll delete it. Luckily, we get all the materials back, huh? <sighs> also, did we actually establish who the favorite villain was <laughs> in video games? I don't think I actually ended up picking one. I think you guys did. I know Nemesis and Wesker were in there. You know, there are some really great looking bosses. If you can count those as like enemies, like in Elden Ring or Bloodborne or whatever. I don't know if I really count those as like enemy enemies though. And they are. Show dare, that's right. Favorite villain in what game or in general? Ah, oh, in general, in any game. Yep. Oh yeah, handsome Jack. <laughs> Overall handsome Jack. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, maybe I just don't have one. Or I just need to think about it harder. That could have been the way of them. Oh, let's find out. I'm just making a face because of the food shortage. I should just fill this whole thing up. Don't worry about making it too neat. This well, that's the way. Oh, okay, you just walk through it. Oh, that's good. Oh man, I think I might be all talked out. <laughs> oh no. Oh shoot, I've got an injured beaver. Hang on. Um. I forgot that could happen. Maybe just put it up here. I think that's also a new mechanic that beavers can injure themselves and they have to go to a sick bed to get better. These berries are going to save us, right? <laughs> Those are grown already? I 
Alright. I think we're okay. I think we'll be okay. Once this one is built, this big one, we'll just have so much water. If it gets built. Alright. I'm not gonna stop the game until this one's built. <laughs> so we'll just wait for the gears to be made. Oh, I feel so bad now. I don't want them to be starving when I finish up for today. I will, I'll try and fix it. Alright. Because I feel bad. <laughs> for my computer beavers. Oh, you've got quite the list. The Queen from Gears of War. Favorite boss, General General Ram. Gears again. My favorite boss. Favorite boss fight is Salmon Maker. Ah, in the Doom Eternal DLC. That last one made me so angry. <gasps> that was an interesting twist with Samuel Hayden, for sure. Our population is going up slowly. Oh, we'll be okay. Just wait for the big food boom. Make every beaver happy again. I probably also could just get rid of all these dandelions. We don't really need them. Something like that. And I could just plant more potatoes. Get rid of that one too. Yeah, I just feel so bad. <laughs> Yeah, whenever I think of, I guess, favorite villains, I always just kind of come back to the Souls games. But now I'm just trying to think, like, oh, who's like a real bastard? Who was like a really, really mean son of a bitch? Like, who was the absolute worst? And I just struggle to think of it. Yeah, I don't know why that's just such a hard question for me. Maybe the camera in Souls games. That's the ultimate villain. Uh, a couple of them have died of hunger. But carrots are coming in hot. Coming in hot. Do that. Can we just like reduce this a little bit? Melania looked like she was a handful. Yeah, the camera. <laughs> Best enemy will always be gravity. Yes, gravity and the camera are the ultimate enemies. Absolutely. Especially in the first Dark Souls game. <laughs> oh dear. Now we're getting potatoes in. Okay. More food, more food. Keep it coming. Uh, we can probably pause all these ones so we can prioritize something else. I got food. There we go. That's better. Put something in there. It has that. <laughs> I'm just like, come on, food. Just give it a couple of days. Camera is who you're really fighting against? Yes. I remember there were some really awful, awful camera angles in Sekiro. Like really like close quarters. Dark Souls did it a couple of times too. Yeah. Maybe that's that's what my answer is, is the camera. 
Gravity, not so much. Usually it's my fault when it comes to gravity. <sighs> oh, wow. Actually, what I should do is I should look at where all this scrap metal is and then start building that way. Like, what's the closest bit of scrap metal? A little bit there. There's a big chunk there. It's all really far. That's a shame. There's one. That's probably the most ideal one. Yeah, that's a shame. All the metal's really far. <sighs> oh, we're still not doing that good for food. It's Dragon! Hello Dragon! Thank you for subscribing! 26 months! My god! That's over two years! <laughs> Sakura was an endurance test for Dandy. She's just such a trooper. <laughs> it was an endurance test. That taught me a lot. <laughs> it did. It definitely taught me about uh, my, my mindset about going into games like that, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, you know what I might also do? Um, if you add decorations and such, that'll also make them really happy. I also didn't make another house. What is wrong with me? They need more housing. So, let's see. Housing, 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 housing. We just put it here. Yeah, if I get the... I don't have enough. I was gonna say the big chunky one. No, I don't really want to wait. Could try and sneak it in here. Like that. See, I can put that in there because there is... You can sneak a path in there, but it... Uh, it just gets kind of blocked, unfortunately. I can go like... That. Let's do that. Yeah, it's, it's a little awkward, but it's okay. I guess I'll put another house there and maybe I'll just improvise with something else in there. So I'm not treating them very nicely. Beaver showers. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. Oh, also a Lido is really good. Yeah, I think maybe we should just improve their well-being slightly. Okay, how about I get that one? I'm also gonna get that one. I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna give him some showers. Oh, it's Waga! Hello! Houses for damn beavers! Hello, Waga! Oh, man. It's good seeing everybody again. Yeah, I could just kind of like do it like that, maybe. Ooh. Why is that not placing? Here we go. Come on, come on. There you go. I think that's just an easy way to get their well being up. The other thing I haven't done is the rooftop terrace. This would be really nice too. Hmm. There's room here. I could connect that too. See, this is where you can start getting really creative. Do that. I wish there was a sandbox mode for this game, actually, because I would just go apeshit with it. Or maybe there is, I don't know. Go like that. And go like that. And eventually, when I start building in here, this should all level up. Like, line up with the roof, and then I can build up top of here. That'll work really nice. And then I can... Give me these. Uh, oh, did I spend all my science points? I did. Get the bush at least. I could just put that in there. So it looks nice and pretty, and they're like, oh, it's a bush. I'm happy. 
That's what beavers are like. <laughs> okay. Try that. What's up? Thirsty. You'd be playing for days. <laughs> oh, I said I'd play for like an extra 10 minutes and it's already been like 15. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm naughty. I've got some chores I need to do today, but it's okay. It's only five minutes. There we go. Really? I have to? Okay. You guys want more? I'll build another one. Yes, I think that actually does line up, which is really cool. So... The row house might actually squeeze in there. And then I can build on top of that. That's fun. Yeah? Oh, oh we got good food coming in. Good. Okay, I think we're much in a much better place now. That's good. That makes me happy. Just 10 more minutes, I swear. Two hours later, yeah. I'm always like that. I just can't help it. It's just so addictive. So I'm really happy to see that um, everything is running really well with the stream and the game and the, all the recording, because I record at the same time. Because uh, I mentioned before that I got some new gear. I upgraded some parts and at first it was not quite working that well he was working but I was noticing there was um, some stuttering going on. <laughs> some little things that were bugging me and it wasn't like quite perfect you could say. It was kind of bugging me but I've noticed that there hasn't really been like a frame drop or anything and then everything looks smooth and like when the game does its autosave, like yeah, it'll stop. Like that's that's normal, that's just the game. Um, other than that, it's just been really good. Yeah, that makes me really happy. That makes me super happy. Yeah, that's all been working out. Have you ever tried Stardew Valley? Oh, that was one of those games I was actually thinking about streaming. So I have played Stardew Valley and in fact I even got a... I think I finished the game. Too, but I'd play it again. I didn't see everything. Probably not. She beat it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Penny Besco. Yeah, we. I think we talked about it before. Um, I mentioned that I. Who did I marry? I think it was Sebastian, the dude with like the emo black hair and the motorcycle. I'm pretty sure that's who I romanced. But that was many years ago. Now there we go. We're getting lots of beavers again. Yay. Me happy. That's great. Put them in here. That's really good. Having people employed in the hauling post. It's just way more efficient if you do. Water would be... Why, why water still not perfect? Hmm? I thought I would have more water by now. Alright, well, I better fix this. I might- I'm gonna definitely rearrange how I've done this, but for now, just do that. Yeah. Because I want to move all this into the river. Maybe I- you know what, let's do this. Prioritize it. Maybe they'll work harder. The hauling post will help a lot too. Shit, I really should stop. Your in for Stardew streams. Sevi deserves all the love. Yes, he did. He does. And he he, he got it. <laughs> Pretty sure he was, I married him and had a kid too. <laughs> and we like moved in. That was cute. Okay, now the water's doing better. I think it was... If once I did this, this was much better. Good. Alright guys, you know what? We're in a very good place here with our little beaver town. Our full metal beavers. So I think we should probably stop the stream here, otherwise I'm just gonna keep going forever and ever and ever and I really should stop and take a break. Um, very good being back streaming 2023. It was really nice talking to all of you again. Um, so much fun. It's really nice just talking to everyone and talking about all the different games and our favorite whatevers and... Oh, it's nice to catch up. Oh yeah, and all the cute emojis too. <laughs> yeah, it's been really, really fun. And as much as I really want to keep playing, I should be good and take a break. Then we can keep playing next week. No worries. I do have lots of plans. 
always. But yeah, I'm just glad my beavers are safe. Yeah. Good night, y'all. Great stream, Dandy. Thank you, Quid. Thanks for the stream, Dandy. Have a good weekend. Can't wait for the new vids. Yes. That is freaking sweet. I hope you guys have been enjoying uh, God of War, Ragnarok, and Mass Effect 2. It's been really awesome. And yeah, it's just so good being back streaming again. So what do we always what do we always say? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I will see you all same time next week, okay? Hopefully when it's not like 30 degrees outside and I'm like boiling in this room. But yes, great to see you all again, and I'll see you next week, okay? Thank you so much. Bye, goodbye, goodbye. Oh, thank you for the subs as well. You guys are super swell. Bye now. <laughs>